Hey guys, John T here, and this is John T Raw Seven. And right now, tonight, it's a beautiful night. Um, we're at Barley's Brew House at 135th and Neiman Road. This used to be the old 77 South, and I just had dinner here. I got to tell you, it was really good. It's a really good place. I really enjoyed the Barley's. It was great food, very good food, uh, nice atmosphere. I would say, I have to say, this is a good place also to do a lot of networking and palm pressing if you're in business. This is a kind of a junior country club. The country clubs are kind of dying off uh, and too much expense and they don't really get a lot of value with it. because people can go to a place like this and do the same type of uh, networking as they can at a country club. This is a good kind of junior country club kind of a vibe with uh, good food. Um, it was a good call. So this used to be the old Save Seven South and now it's the Barley's Brew House and so no word on yet if they're going to have any nightlife. That's kind of what we're waiting to see is on the nightlife thing. Um, I think they ought to try it. We would definitely think it would pop. There's a lot of people in there that would probably like to dance. So, all right, we'll, we'll go to another venue. Here hey we go. Hey, guys. Uh, okay, I'm back here at over, over, Overtime Bar and Grill in Overland Park. It's at 135th and Neiman. And this is a new bar. just opened three weeks. And what's interesting about this bar is I knew the owner way back, the last two owners, which one, first it was South Beach, cafe and you might know stinky ballsack who does kansas city pizza and burgers he used to own this and now he does his little dance if you guys go like the kansas city pizza and burgers on facebook and you can see their dance and they actually give free pizzas out for liking their facebook so you might go check that out if you want a good free pizza and third, secondly there's a, a, another friend of mine uh cory he owned plush and it was here right after south beach so um, and then it was something else, and then it was a patio shades, and now they've opened it up. It's a very interesting situation with this this group. First of all, uh, the Russian. So if you're if you're Russian descent, you might want to patronize this. But the other cool thing about this is that they've got 20 TVs and 50 beers on tap. This has got probably as much as Barley's or as much as almost any brewery around. It's huge in there. After, oh, you're about to see the bar here in a second, but the other thing I want to tell you that's really special about this bar is it's got outlets in every booth. I don't know who thought that was a great idea, but today you need an outlet to charge your phone, to charge your thing with free Wi-Fi, so you can come here with the 28 thick plasma 2-inch high-def TVs, watch your sport, and they have dual sound systems. So. On one side of the bar you can have KU and the other side of the bar you can have MU and you both have your own sound. So that's really a spe another special event. Um, they just been over three weeks, didn't find any uh, drink specials. They are going to do UFC fighting and some country music stuff. So you cancel, uh, cancel Hall people when it gets too overpriced and too crazy at Kansas Hall. You might come down here at 103 for the name and check them out. They got some country music and they have a big room for, for dancing if you wanted to try it. So, brand new place. Come check it out. Um, I I give it out of a four out of five stars. I give this for four stars. So I think it's got a lot of potential. It's a, what I would call the best kept secret of Johnson County at this time. So um, it's kind of a hidden back in here. You can't really see it off of Cravere. It's right next to Johnny's, next to Nuts and Bolts. Um, so you, a lot of you maybe don't even know that these places are here. So come check it out. Um, okay, let's go and check out the uh, the bar. Here it is. Wow, guys, check out all these TVs. These are a ton of big t big screen plasma TVs with high def, high, very clear, in the new plasma style. 28 TVs. Imagine that with dual sound. And check out this 50 beers on tap that is just amazing look at that bar look at that liquor that is just so cool come check out overtime sports bar and grill all right guys remember this week's episode of john t raw was brought to you all by speedy's food and liquor the place that it's hard to find your hard liquor and we have a new sponsor in town the man table the man table is one of the neatest tables you're ever going to see. It's not just a side table. It is also a refrigerator. Check that out. You can store all your beer and liquor in there right next to your favorite chair and keep your 
your cell phone, your laptop, right there on top. And that is, yes, that's real wood, that's right. He makes it right out of real wood. It's like a very nice table, most incredible thing I've seen. And it is a locally owned business too. And he is downtown. So let's go out and, you know, support local businesses. Because look at that beautiful piece of furniture. I mean, seriously, that just is beautiful. And to realize that it also stores a refrigerator so you don't have to get up, it's amazing. Well, <clears throat> give Tom a call at 785-236-1342 or email him at tommantables.com for any more information. Well, hey guys, I want you to ask you to share and like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like the man table. Give me a thumbs up if you like that man table. And go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel, the John T. Raw in KC. It doesn't cost you a thing. And we'll see you next Wednesday for another episode of John T. Raw. And by the way, if anybody wants me to pimp out their business, hit me up on an email at johntnkc at gmail.com. We love your faces. We'll talk to you next week. Peace in the Middle East.